they can see our temperatures. And because of that, business is booming for a Beaumont company called Infrared Cameras, Inc. Our news partners at the Dallas Business Journal report that the firm usually sells about 100 cameras per month, but in the past two months, they have sold more than 1,000 of their devices, which can detect the slightest change in body temperatures so that people can be pulled aside and screened for coronavirus. The virus has already brought many Chinese industries to a near halt, and it's now threatening powerhouse economies like South Korea and Italy. And what happens elsewhere affects business here. It can also affect our consumer confidence, and that is a huge deal. Here's why. I went to a luncheon last week with renowned economist Jim Hunsinger, who shared a slide that showed that we spend more than our government does. In fact, our consumer spending is worth more than the entire economy of China. So if we start to lose confidence, we're more likely to close our wallets, and that could crash the U.S. economy. Our confidence has held steady so far, but the latest measurement this month came before the virus started aggressively spreading outside China. Now, Wall Street is not confident that we will stay confident, and that's why stocks have been going off cliffs this week. Some perspective, though. Market Watch is looking back at viral outbreaks over the last four decades. And with the exception of two epidemics, HIV in 1981 and measles in 2014, the market has always rebounded significantly six months and 12 months after an outbreak. So there's a lot of risk in the market right now, but possibly a lot of opportunity, too. You can always find me right there. I'm at Jason Wheeler TV, and that's right on the money.